Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to Season 2, Episode number 50 of Be With Me. And we're going to start today by uh, referring to a early chapter book by uh, a little character. The character is Cam Jansen, and she had this photographic memory. And during the mysteries that she would be solving, she would uh, click and remember a particular moment in time. And then later on, that photographic image and the details of it would help her solve uh, the crime or the mystery that she was trying to unravel. And today we experience that in the Bible. And we have Jesus about five days before his, his death. And we're going to get a click, like a Cam Jansen click, of what was Jesus like five days before his crucifixion. So here we go. We're in John chapter uh, 12. And um, this is from, we're going to start in verse 27. Pay attention. We're going to see some details. We're going to see his purpose. We're going to see his emotions. We're going to see his will. We're going to see his relationship with the Father. We're going to see what he's doing on a trans-global basis. We're going to see how educational he is, how prophetic he is, and then how urgent he is uh, near the end. Okay, so verse 27 of John chapter 12. Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Question mark. Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I have come for this to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice from heaven, quote, I have glorified it and I will glorify it again, unquote. The crowd that stood there and heard that, heard it said that it had thundered and others said an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is the Son of Man? So Jesus asked them, the light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest the darkness overtake you. The one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light that you may become sons of the light. So two-thirds of the way through this little story, the people ask a question that is being answered as they ask the question. They ask the question, who is the son of man? And all the while, Jesus is describing himself in all these different detailed ways. Let's go over them right now. First of all, we see that Jesus is troubled. I love this part. It might be my favorite part. And this is the detail that tells you that Jesus was not some sort of a robot. He's real. He's human. Um, and to be stirred up means, uh, to be troubled means that he's stirred up. He's unsettled. Why? Because he has this great test in front of him. Heck, I've taken spelling tests that I was stirred up about, uh, much less the test that Jesus is going to go through. So a great test is before him, and he's uh, wrestling with it a, a, a little bit and deciding. There's no, there's, there's no purpose, he's just, but he's committing himself for this purpose. I've come to this hour. And then we see this great uh, prayer here. We find him prayful at the end. Father, glorify your name. And then... A voice comes from heaven. Now, here's the strange thing. When we go to heaven, we're going to hear God's voice every day. Think about that. This will not be an unusual moment uh, in eternity. Now, it was an unusual moment of here because of the, the separation, the Jesus coming all, all the way down. So the weird thing is not that God speaks. The weird thing is God doesn't speak all the time because that's where Jesus came from, where him and God were in cahoots all the time and will be in the in the future. And we'll, we will be also in that conversation in the future. The weird thing is that there's silence and then it breaks through every once in a while. 
so I thought that was interesting. Um, this this voice that comes, which we're going to hear all the time. That voice was the same voice that came to Jesus at his baptism and his transfiguration. And this is the third time that this freely audible voice of God. It tells you about the unification, the unifiedness of Jesus and the Father. And then this you see in verse 31, this epic thing happened. Now is the judgment of the world. So something is happening uh, that is unseen and spiritual. The ruler of the world, which is Satan, is being cast out, defeated, defeated, triumphed over, destroyed. And the world is being delivered in this last hour. Now, this last hour, certainly, uh, it's a longer hour than an hour. Certainly, it takes a week, because Jesus is referring to his last hour, which is his last week. But then this defeat of Satan is uh, done and in some ways not done. We find him educational at the end. He says, I want to show you this. I want to show you what kind of death I'm going to die. And what does he describe about it? I'm going to be lifted up from the earth. And then this prophetic call to everybody, I am going to be lifted up and will draw all people to myself. And then he concludes with with a bunch of urgent things. The light is among you only for a while. Come while you have it. So he's calling. So in conclusion, we get this Cam Jansen picture of Jesus, and we find out what Jesus is like in this snapshot five days before his death. Perhaps you're one that's being drawn to Jesus and asking the question that they asked, who is the Son of Man? So if they are listening, and if you and me are are listening, we see this image of Jesus, this click, all these details we get, this freeze frame of Jesus. In a sense, it points to the future day when we have this intimate, verbal, uh, defeated enemies, the world is fixed. It's really a hopeful image of Jesus. It's a call to believe and to become and move uh, part of the 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 thing here is he says is uh don't let the darkness overtake you keep moving if you will keep moving towards jesus and perhaps in that subscribe to be with me see you tomorrow thanks for listening thank you cam jansen for this image of jesus that's frozen in time i like what i see